Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So if you didn't know, I am British. It may come as a shock to some of you. I know some people think that I'm Australian. I've actually been asked if I'm Canadian before. I don't know why. But because I'm British, a huge part of our culture around the Christmas season is an advent calendar. Now, if you don't know what an advent calendar is, for some reason, basically it is a little calendar that you have 24 doors in. So you open up from the 1st of December all the way through to the 24th of December, counting up to Christmas. And in each door you get like a little chocolate or a little surprise. Sometimes it's just a picture, but those are the boring ones that nobody actually wants. Anyway, every single year that goes by, I always Google and think to myself, I really wish an art brand would bring out an advent calendar. Like, can you imagine how fun it would be to open up an advent calendar every day in December and find a little art supply inside? Like, that's never been a thing before. I think the closest I found once was like a watercolor brand, but that's literally it. But this year I did my annual Google search. Is there an advent calendar filled with art supplies? And guess what I found? Arteza, they have an advent calendar. They actually have a 12 day and a 24 day. Unfortunately, by the time I Googled it, they didn't have the 24 day in stock anymore, but I have emailed them in hopes that I can hopefully get hold of one to open on camera. Before we get started though, I wanted to quickly let you know that today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare, my absolute favorite platform on the internet for taking thousands and thousands of online classes in art, business, design, photography, illustration, watercolor, graphic design. So I recently checked how many classes were in my watch history on Skillshare and there was over 120 in there and that's with me slacking. It's an online learning community for creatives where millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Basically Skillshare is for creative and curious people. I actually just recently found this class I think a lot of you would benefit from called Making a Living as an Artist, Strategies for Crafting Your Creative Business by Brooke Glaser. So I'm already of obviously an artist YouTuber full time. That's how I make my living. But because I am launching my brushes soon and products, it honestly never hurts seeing how another artist sells their products because that whole world is still pretty new to me. Now Skillshare classes have a combination of video lessons and a class project. So essentially when you complete the class, you can post your project to be seen by the teacher. Here is a few of the projects from my class I teach about digital portraits. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedules. The best part is there are no ads and new premium classes are launching all the time. Plus if English is not your first language, their entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Dutch. If you'd like to try it out for yourself and take any of the classes they have on there, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get started opening our advent calendar. Okay, so we've got our advent calendar here and it says 12 day holiday calendar 2021, 14 holiday inspired pieces, including wood, and paper surface. So even though it's only 12 days, there are 14 items in this box. It's in like a little sleeve, but it's stuck to the sleeve for some reason. There we go. How cute is that? It's got like the metallic gold. This one's slightly open, so I can't see really in there, but you know. It actually reminds me a lot of my YouTube banner, like the dark blue. I actually kind of like my wall, the dark blue, and then like the, the watercolor gouache looking design. Uh, but yeah, this is what it says. The Season of Joy 2021 Arteza. It's so inside. It's such a nice box. I hate like destroying it. Okay, so we have an acrylic pad. And on here, it says, day one, the most festive season is upon us. And what better way to experience than to count down to the holidays, expressing your creative flair with art wares provided by your friends at Arteza. Let's start off with a few tools that you'll need to embark on this festive journey. Our exclusive new acrylic pad is sure to brighten your day. Hang on to it throughout the countdown as your main surface for all your holiday themed celebrations. So they've started off with the base and it looks like there's a challenge for this overall box to complete. I personally love their acrylic paper. It is absolutely fantastic. I used it for the first time maybe three years ago. Very, very high quality. So I really like as well that it's in a square format. I think this is really nice. Next up, we have day number two, which looks like it could be maybe a brush or a pencil or something. Let's see. Okay, so it's a little paintbrush. It's a bit hard to get. <laughs> Bit hard to get out. Oh no, it's fallen down. Oh no, it fell down. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Come back. 
So we have an Arteza for round brush. This is one of my favorite styles of paintbrushes. Actually, I have a paintbrush set coming out on Saturday, November 27th. Keep your eyes peeled, artisticfairco.com. Um, but I actually have a style of round brush like this in my paintbrush set. So these are really, really nice. I do like them a lot. Next up is door number three. And in here we have... Oh, we've got an acrylic paint. I recognize these tubes. This is a scarlet red acrylic paint tube there. And this, this paint is really, really nice quality. It's a slightly thicker paint. I don't believe it's heavy body paint, but it is a slightly thicker paint. Um, so I really do like that a lot. You get almost one ounce of acrylic paint there. Um, day three is an acrylic paint tube saying, use your new scarlet red acrylic paint to create a portrait of the one, the only Santa Claus. Don't forget to add a little extra paint to his rosy red treats. True. Rosy red cheeks. We ho ho hope you share your artwork with us by tagging us on social media. We've got number four here. It's the same size as day number three. So let's see. Oh, we got a green. So we've got another Christmas color here. This is yellow green. Yellow green is actually my all time favorite um, acrylic paint. Green. I literally buy yellow green in almost every single brand every time I see it because it's just, I love this shade of green. Says our yellow green acrylic paint tube will provide you with the perfect paint for today's challenge. Paint a family of cozy Christmas trees. I'm very excited to see what other challenges we have, even though we're doing it all at once. Day number five, we have, oh, we've got a blue, like an ice maybe, something ice related. This is a pearl sapphire blue. So also an acrylic paint, except this has kind of like a metallic finish. Um, these are really, really nice paints. This one says, deck the halls with a beautiful painting of Christmas ornaments using your new pearl sapphire. A blue acrylic paint tube, it's a mouthful. Its metallic finish is perfect for painting ornaments. See for yourself by joining countless artists from all over the world in today's challenge. So today's challenge is to paint ornaments, even though it's not a challenge each day, it's we're gonna do all of it at once. Okay, in door number six, I think we've got another acrylic paint. Oh no, did I? Well, the bottom's opening up. <laughs> we've got, ooh, okay, this one is day six. Pearl Rose, we challenge you to paint a beautiful poinsettia. Is that how you say it, poinsettia? With this st stunning Pearl Rose acrylic paint tube. Normally poinsettias are red, I thought, but I mean, got this nice pearlescent metallic finish pink as well. Um, next up, we'll see number seven. Ooh, this one's cool, let's see. An Arteza acrylic marker in silver. So this is apparently a water-based ink. I'm not sure if Posca markers are water-based too. I'm curious to see how these do compare to the um, the Posca markers. But again, I love that they're all like Christmas colors, except for this one. I feel like it's not very Christmassy, but I'm not gonna complain. This one just says silver bells, silver bells. It's Christmas time in your sketchbook. Use your new silver metallic acrylic paint to paint a pair of holiday bells. I reckon this is gonna be those wood slices. Yeah, it's those wood slices. Oh, and we get two, three, oh, three. Okay, we've got three wood slices here. Um, I love painting on wood slices. I've said this many times before. This one says, three small wood slices. Tis the season to reminisce on holiday memories. Use three small wood slices we've supplied to depict what holiday past, present, and future looks like for you. Okay, day number nine. This one's also open, so I'm just gonna open it from the bottom. Another, oh, a silica packet. I've always wanted one of these. It's a titanium white, as Bob Ross says. It says, let it snow, paint your own snow angel with your new titanium white acrylic paint tube. You can't do Christmas and you can't do paintings without titanium white. So I'm very, very glad that we have this shade of paint. Day number 10, we have, oh no, I'm ripping it. I mean, I'm not exactly gonna keep this, but I don't like to rip it. Okay, so we've got an acrylic metallic paint tube in pearl copper gold. It wants us to paint a star for the top of a holiday tree. So I'm guessing if you do this like day by day and you've painted the Christmas trees with this, you then go ahead and go back to it with this for the gold star. But this is a very Christmassy color. I really like that they've included so many acrylic paints in this. I really, I'm, I'm just, I really like this. I really hope that they do this every year because it's such a fantastic idea. I say I've waited for this for years. I'm genuinely serious. I've waited for this for years. Um, in day number 11, we have another acrylic marker in space black. 
So we have another um, Posca style acrylic paint marker right there. For today's challenge, we want to see your best silhouette of Santa's sleigh in action. So basically a silhouette of his sleigh. Um, we're on the last day now. No, I really wish I had the 24 day one. I have, I think I might be able to get hold of it from Arteza. I'm gonna do my best to get hold of it just so I can open it for you. Okay, we got another, our last door is another acrylic paint marker. This says, what would Christmas be without bright Christmas lights? To create a painting, drawing, or mixed media piece depicting dazzling Christmas lights. Use your new gold metallic acrylic marker for our final creative holiday challenge. So this was our last item, the gold acrylic marker on upside down. That's not very good. So that's all the days. I'm really sad that that, that was it. I'm, I'm actually genuinely sad because that was I was enjoying myself, even though I kind of ruined the magic by opening all at once. It's like a novelty thing. Advent calendars aren't necessarily cheap and they're not always kind of worth what they cost. But I mean, you do get a decent amount of items in this and it's just kind of fun to have it every day. So would I recommend this? I absolutely would. Most advent calendars, like little Lego ones, they're upwards of $40 and like you can get Legos for way cheaper than that. Usually it's just for the experience. Um, so we have six paint tubes right here. We have three acrylic paint markers. We have a paintbrush, three wood slices, and we also have an acrylic pad and a silica packet. So that was really fun. Arte's a fantastic job. Please do this every single year. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I think with all these new supplies, I'm gonna make some holiday related pieces. So I think it's about time we get started and let's go. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make three different pieces on these little pieces of wood. I'm gonna keep them simple since they're small and we are somewhat limited with our supplies, but there's still quite a lot we could do with this. So I'm not too worried. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some Christmas lights, a Christmas tree, and then I'm not really sure what else I'm gonna do on another one. So we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, so I've got a little Christmas bulb here. And maybe what I'll do is give him some little eyeballs or acrylic paper. I'm actually gonna use our acrylic paper. Oh, there's a hair. Yuck. I'm gonna use our acrylic paper as a palette just because we don't have one here. And I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take my green, which Thought I'd lost it, but it's here. I'm gonna mix some green with the red so that I can make a slightly deeper color red. And then we can use it to shade one edge. So I might draw on this with a silver pen instead of painting it. My least favorite part about paint pens is trying to get the paint out. Okay, so here's our little light bulb boy. He was done in, let me check the time, 15 minutes. So I'm pretty happy with that for a 15 minute little doodle. I'm actually really enjoying doing more simplified things. Like last week I did the little simplified gingerbread house like this. I find simplifying artwork has always been something I've struggled with. I always kind of tend to gravitate towards doing real detailed things, but I'm actually really enjoying attempting to simplify things lately, so. I'm happy with that, let me sign it. Okay, this one, I saw this really cool technique for painting a Christmas kind of snowy tree. So I'm just gonna do it. I have, again, no internet, so I can't re-watch it to see what it was, but I'm hoping I remember it. So you make a triangle. 
and these oval bits are gonna actually be the snow. So there's a little Christmas tree. He is green, obviously, and he's got his snow. Here is our little light bulb. Um, I'm actually really happy with both of those. I like the tree definitely more than the light bulb, but I still had fun with both of them. Um, and now for the third one, I don't really know what to make. What else is Christmassy? Okay, so I think for this one, I gotta do a classic snowman. Uh, very, very simple little snowman. So I'm just gonna quickly sketch it out. I'm gonna make him like a two ball snowman because I feel like they look cuter when they're a little shorter like that. I could give him a little Santa hat maybe. Okay, he looks a bit funny, but you know what? I kind of like him. He's a bit charming, a bit strange, but I like him a lot. So there we have it. We have our three little wood slices, all Christmas themed. We have our tree, our light bulb, and our snowman. The tree is definitely my favorite. It's more my style, and I just really like the colors of it. But let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite, because they're all fairly different, and I would definitely love to hear your opinion. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video as well. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video.